Hi, I'm Karina Smirnoff. And I'm Maxim Shmikovsky, and we're from Forever Tango. We're here at Broadway.com to answer your questions that you sent us. I get questions for Karina, she has questions for me, and uh, it's going to be interesting. From Don, you dance with such joy in Forever Tango. What do you love the most about dancing the tango? Who said I'm dancing with such joy? Maybe I'm just Dawn. faking it. Um, <laughs> Don, Don, uh, I, I love dancing, period. Uh, I love being, you know, in front of people and, and I guess, uh, you know, and my attention. career was leading, this is my question I'm gonna answer, <laughs> if you don't mind, thank you. Uh, the, my career leading was leading up to this point, you know, Broadway is the, is, is the, is the height. I think for a dancer, for a performer, and and that's that's the joy you see. This particular Argentine tango is very passionate. There's a lot of ups and downs, romance, um, you know, kind of roller coaster of emotions I, that I never thought I was capable of. But doing it with this lovely lady has opened a lot of emotional things that I have really didn't know I had. So that's what I enjoy. One of the sweetest. This one's from Billy. Welcome back to New York. What do you like best about performing on the Broadway stage? Um, well, thank you for your question, Billy. Uh, I love New York. I grew up in New York. I uh, always miss it. Even though now I live in LA, I still feel like I come home to New York. And to be able to perform on Broadway is is such such a different feeling than performing live on TV because. You, you get to feel the energy of the theater and the audience and you in a way feed off of that and you want to do better and, and you know you want to connect with them and with you of course with your partner on the show but to be able to perform on Broadway with Forever Tango and having to try to um, express the creative direction that Louis Bravo has in the in the show is uh, something that I think we're both are absolutely in love with. So please come out and see us. I'm not sure if she answered your question, Billy, but we'll accept that. This is from Jean. This is a very, very important question. What is your favorite thing about working with Karina? And please tell us something we don't know about me. All right, so this next question is from Joanne. And, uh, but really, uh, everything- I everything, didn't make that <coughs> up. Everything is my favorite about working with Karina. She's an amazing dancer. She's a great partner. I come from a partnering, you know, dance school, and and it's very important to not just have somebody on the stage with you, but somebody you can do things with that that not only are dance savvy, but also make you feel better. And this is amazing uh, as a partner, as partnership. <laughs> and some of the things that we don't know about me, about Karina, she's actually. She's actually, she's actually pretty funny. She thinks she's <laughs> funny, but uh, I think you know. I don't think I'm funny. I know I'm funny. You 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 try really hard. <laughs> so this one's from Joanne. <clears throat> I love this question. You seem to fly in Forever Tango. Do you practice gymnastics as part of your exercise routine? <laughs> um, great question, Joanne. We have a lot of lifts in our um, both of our solo dances, and. Um, even though it looks like I'm flying, it does not come without sound effects from uh, the person who's helping me fly. Who's making you fly? Like, you yeah. How gravity defined are you? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Would you? Well, I, uh, you help me fly, and I help us land. I don't this help you. I, I make land. you fly. There's no help. You don't help me help you fly. I literally make you fly. You know what, why don't we test this tonight on the Let's show if I don't help you help me fly. If I just drop my gravitational force in your arms. Because you're a superhuman, you can control gravitational pull. Is that your help? No one can control it, it just keeps do you on know, pulling. Do you know some <laughs> things, I want to answer back the question that previously was asked. But some things you it don't know about go, Karina. It cannot go back. Some things, you, you, this is my camera, this is your camera. <laughs> don't talk into my camera. Uh, Juliana, growing up in Brooklyn, did you see a lot of Broadway shows? And what is your favorite? 
Uh, Juliana actually saw one Broadway show in 97. It was called Forever Tango. It was amazing. It's a true story. It was the first show I saw, mm. and it was an incredible experience. I don't know what I said back then to put it out in universe, but here we are now, many years later, and, and it's kind of like life came full circle. This is a great question. Um, after that, I saw a couple of shows, but I think Forever Tango is always going to be my favorite as a you know, first off. Anything. That's from Kathy. Who's the toughest? I'm going to skip that question. This one. No, I'm kidding. Kathy. Kathy. Who's the toughest teacher on the Dancing with the Stars, you or Max? One word answer. Go. Kathy, great question. Who's the toughest teacher? I think I'm the nicer teacher, for sure, but we're both pretty tough. I think we know what we want to get out of a person, I am definitely right? nicer. He <clears throat> definitely talks way more to his partners than I do. I just explain what they need Me? to do. Next question is, uh, I don't know if Sally is referring to anyone in particular, but can you do a passionate dance with a partner you don't like? No. <gasps> Absolutely not. How, is, how, how will that work? It's like faking an orgasm, it doesn't work, it never, never works. This is from Jonathan. Were you ever a fan of a star contestant you had to compete against? Yes. yes. I know, obviously, we're fans of everybody. I'm like, I, I hate that I'm a fan of you because we compete against you, but right? Well, um, I remember, I think it was season eight or nine, I've been a fan of Mark Dacascos for years. Um, great actor, great martial artist. Um, and then he was on Dancing with the Stars and I was like, oh my gosh. Um, we weren't partnered up together, but um, I definitely had those uh, moments when I would see someone on the show and go like, this is incredible and that we have an, an opportunity to meet them. Nancy Grace, another one. I don't know about Nancy Grace, but I was very happy about Mark Dacascos. He's an right? amazing guy, and he happened to be such a nice dude, too. Yes. And it was just awesome, and every time we're like, can you do that kick, can you do that kick again? This is from Mackenzie. How is dancing on Broadway different than on TV or in competitions? Um, well, competitions are different because you obviously compete to be the best. Um, dancing with the Stars is a competition, but it's also a TV show, so we always keep that in mind, that you know, even though you're competing for the trophy, you want to make sure that you entertain people at home. But performing on the, I guess, most known and, and I guess the stage that every artist wants to perform in at least once in their life is Broadway. And uh, we got to do it twice. First time it was with Burn the Floor, and this time it's on Forever Tango, and nothing compares to Broadway, nothing. Um, if, if you try to compare it to performances on TV or at competitions, it's completely different because you, you strip yourself off all the, you know, glamorous stuff and you, you try to connect with your audience on a different level on Broadway stage. So I think we, uh, we both absolutely love that experience. Jillian, would you want to create your own show for the Broadway stage and what would it be like? Absolutely. Uh... But there's just a lot of ideas. Just being on Broadway is amazing and it's such an inspiring feeling that you, you have things going and, and creative juices flowing. But <clears throat> I've always wanted to do a stage production, you know, of a, you know, of a dance show. Um, it'll be very different than anything that we've done so far, but it'll be, you know, Broadway stage worthy. But aside from that, I'd love to do I'd love to do an acting gig on Broadway. I think I think that's something that I'm looking forward to next. Um, just to elaborate on your um, answer, does that gig involve singing? <laughs> just when I start liking you a little bit. This is from Alice. <laughs> your costumes on TV are so revealing! Exclamation uh, point. Have you ever refused to wear something on the show? Um, I think they're under the impression that that production is just throwing things. Let's see if Karina says yes to this. Oh, she said yes, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
we usually, uh, I think one of my favorite parts about, um, you know, the whole process of Dancing with the Stars is that not only do we get to perform, we get to create the, the choreography. We choreograph everything that we dance. We get to create around costumes. I get to design my costumes, my partner's costumes. So, um, is there something that I wouldn't wear? Absolutely, but for the most part, I think the costumes should help the whole uh, dance and the story behind the dance. So, um, I, I love the process of creating the costumes on the show. Okay, next question is from Rochelle. You've talked about wanting to pursue acting. Which classic Broadway musical would you like to appear in? I I'm, I'm not, probably wouldn't appear in a classic Broadway <laughs> musical because that would require me singing. And unless there's a com comedy role where this, this character comes out and he's like, a, he's like a peacock all gorgeous and stuff and then opens his mouth and he's like, ah, you know, that's basically me. I'd play a role of a peacock in Lion King. You know, a pretty bird that can't sing. That's. I don't know if there is a peacock in Lion King, but I'm sure there is. <laughs> well, we'll put, we'll put one in there. Uh, this is from Vivian. My husband has no rhythm. Can any man learn to dance, or are some people hopeless? Hmm. I don't think anybody is hopeless, but having natural. She <laughs> wasn't here. <clears throat> Sorry. Yes, you were saying. <laughs> Um, well, I <coughs> Billy Ray. <clears throat> that is so mean, Maxim. It's not mean, it's honest. It's my I, opinion, no, I the think judge's opinion, everybody who has a pair of eyes. I disagree. I think if you, if you have natural rhythm and ability, obviously it's a lot easier. But if you don't, there are ways to still enjoy dancing and still enjoy dancing with someone else who doesn't have natural rhythm or ability. So can you teach anyone? Yes. Can you be the best at it without natural talent? Probably not. Definitely not. Okay, this is the last question for you, and it's from Anna. I can't believe you've never won Dancing with the Stars. Uh, which of your star partners do you think most deserved to take home the trophy? No, I think Mel B won in my eyes. Oh, she was incredible. Easy in that season and everything, and then I think who won that season? Elio Castroneves. Mm. Hey, listen, you know, I'm, uh, they're all winners in my eyes. Yes. Well, most of them, except a few. Guys, thank you so much for sending all these amazing questions. Actually, the questions were great. And uh, please come out, see us in Forever Tango. And if you don't make it out before August 11th, still please come out until September 15th. That's when the show is running till and uh, be a part of an experience that's forever. What she said. And, <laughs> and thank you. Thank you also for questions. It was great. Broadway.com. Right